Awesome guys. So this, this is going to be how to set up the static cameras. We are going to do camera four, but it works the same way for camera three. The instructions are again, all in your startup procedure on the Google form. I just want to show you it so you can see it and be fluent with what we're talking about. So first things first, come in the crow's nest. We're going to find cameras three and four, whichever one you're using in the morning. Generally camera four is our manned camera. We're going to grab it. You can kind of see it's a complicated or it's a heavy setup. Take it out here to the platform. Here's what we're gonna do. So cameras, all the cameras have tripod bases on them. We're gonna take it and we're going to slide it into this back. You'll see that it slides. You don't want that. So if on the other side, there's a locking plate and you'll see there that now it's locked in place. Um, Next, we're going to plug in some of the connections, which really you're looking for. We can start with power. It's a little locking connector there. It's got a little tab in it. So you're just going to find where it says power or 12 volt is kind of what it says next to it. Usually you got to rotate it and then it'll lock in place. Next, we're going to take this right handle controller, which has blue tape on it. It's just a little USB cable. This is going to be plugged into the motor that has blue on it. And there's a little connector here, a little place to plug it in. So there you go, the tape is kind of facing out on both. Um, and then lastly, or one of the last things, we're gonna take video. So we've done power, we've done control for the motors, and now we're gonna do video, which is just an HDMI cable. And we're gonna plug it into the HDMI port on the left side of the camera. Next, we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. There we go. Now it's on. We're going to turn on the monitor, kind of working our way down. There you go. And it should be showing what's on this screen just without the color filter on it. There you go. And now again, working our way down. On this left handle, you'll see that there's two USB cables. You're going to plug them into both devices here. This one is to control the brightness, the ISO. And this other one is for the motor for the focus. And the cable goes on the back side of this. There you go. This should power right on. And then lastly, for the right controller, you're going to take a red battery off the charger. You're going to place it into it places with the, like the labels facing in. You're going to pop it in the bottom. It clicks to turn. So the left handle comes on automatically or generally does. You can click the record button to turn it on. Similarly, this right controller, you click this record button. The green light comes on. And now for both of them, you're going to find the calibrate buttons. The calibrate button on the right handle, it says cal. And there's a little like kind of a, it's hard to feel, but there's a button right here. And on the left handle, the calibrate button's on the top under, again, it says cal. So we're just gonna hold both buttons. And then on the screen, you'll see, you can let off whenever it starts zooming in and or shifting focus. Or you can look to the left side of the camera and you'll see both motors turning. Let it do its thing. Usually takes maybe 20 seconds because it'll do one or two turns to get all the endpoints on it. And then from there, you can see based on my screen, my right controller does zoom and my left controller does focus. So you're pretty much set up from there. The last thing you're gonna to wanna to test is on this little control unit. You're gonna gonna you're gonna to wanna to click ISO. And then this knob will control the ISO. And you can tell because that's the brightness going up and down. So if you have control of both or all three things, zoom, ISO, and focus, you're good to go.